much. Yeah. Good evening. I'd like to open the Deerfield Planning Board meeting <laughs> on April 2nd, 2018 at 7 o'clock here at the Deerfield Town Hall. Tonight's agenda is to review minutes of previous meeting, review some mail, and we have some new business of a and R's on Wells Cross Road um, regarding Savage's Farms. Then we have some requests for comments regarding special permit at 67 Stillwater Road, a variance at 39 Dare Street, and another variance at 37 South Main Street. Those are just requests, to, requests for comments from the planning board. Um, then we're gonna, we want to spend some time reviewing proposed changes in zoning bylaws that have been submitted by the building inspector. Then old business is to, to have a final draft of zoning bylaws for cultivating, cultivation and processing, product manufacturing, and retail sale of marijuana in Deerfield, and prepare for the um, town meeting. And then any other business not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the posting of the meeting, we'll set a date for the next meeting and we'll adjourn. Any comments or changes to the agenda? Good, and we said we have some uh, minutes from the March 26th meeting, if we can review that and vote on it. Um, there's a couple of things on this. Uh, Mark Vallone said that he felt that the town could be in a million dollar range for uh, production and retail. Once he found out that the production could not be taxed, he went, oh, really? So that should either be struck or something should be added to it. And uh, when John Baronis asked, can anyone buy marijuana anywhere in Massachusetts, that wasn't the question that I asked. I asked if an out-of-stater could buy marijuana in Massachusetts. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yep. Which page was that on, John? Second, Top of the second back page. page. Asked what? Can, can, can anyone yes. out of state? Can anyone out of state? And uh, there were comments by Kalashevsky. And that was part of, he had two recommendations, and one of them was that we re revisit the five-acre minimum, and the, um, so I like that reflected in the minutes as well. Yeah, and there's... Yeah, two um, comments, I can't remember the other one. There was, sorry, there was two comments uh, from people in the audience that I would consider 
against marijuana, and those aren't shown in here. So any of the uh, which two were they, John? Um, the woman that lived on somewhere over on uh, Carol Crafts, Stillwater Rollers. No. Uh, well, Carol Krauss, I think he mentions her, but Anna Lee on Graves. Right. Her, but she's there Street, too. Mountain Road. Mountain Road, yeah. Yeah, she's there. Oh, is she Anna there? Lee. I didn't see it. Yeah. So Anna again, Lee. let's just Anna let's Lee. just be clear that these minutes don't have to have any of these kind of notes in it. The main no, they is, don't have to. The That's main thing is, is the motion's correct. They I should be. Uh, well, the motions are a little awkward because I thought that it was yeah. that we made a motion to forward. <sighs> Not if well, I mean, I don't know if that's a five acre minimum, I guess required minimum. I don't know if that makes sense. Be, just a minute, Rachel. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but John, if you were talking about Anna Lee Wolfke, she's on, the yeah, back I mean, side. she's like, there, yeah, the third. like John said, these don't necessarily have to be in there, they should probably okay. be struck. But I've changed yours to say out of to add out of state in it. Right. The answer was yes, anyways, right? Yes, that is correct. And you're taking away the the comment from Mark Malone since it's not. You want to take that out? Sure. Just take it out. It doesn't, it's not relevant. Quite right. Okay. I'm not sure it's right. So. The Lily White, um, Lily White comment. Do we know that number is correct? It's 960 Lily million. Dwight. No, it's just that she said that that's what she found online. So it's her. It's her. What she said. You know her, what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. And her name is Dwight. You got that, Paul? Her name is Dwight. Her name is Dwight. Dwight. Okay. See, if people say the things out there and it's and you never get to look at D W I G H T. Dwight. Okay, it's there twice. We'll help you fix it now. What's that? I said that's why we'll. That's where there you go. There you go. Teamwork. Now, where does she have the second, the second mention? The uh, third bullet and then uh, the, the yeah. seventh bullet or something. Can we just can we go to the motion there because that, these are the most important things. Well, the motions I just had to do the best I could with them. I uh, Pat was going to review them and and um, didn't get a chance yet. So I'm I'm willing to change it. What what did you want to change? No, I'm asking. Is this oh, well, I I, I guess I just I think it was I, it was my motion to. Um, Review what we had reviewed the five acre minimum um, for. Are you talking which which one of the four motions are you talking the about? Very the very first, first one, basically. The first one in the list there is, is was done before we did any um, of the other motions. Oh, mm -hmm. there's one missing. Okay, yep. There is one know. missing there because we had five motions. I don't get it. Um, no, we made one. We made one to change to, to add the five yeah, acres, five acres. and then we went and did one to right. four to the board of selectmen, one to the town meeting, and then another one for the board of selectmen and the one in for their prohibition. Oh, right. So, recommend. So yeah, so there's one missing here. Um, I think Paul, just to clarify what Rachel, what I'm hearing her say, that first motion, mm -hmm. instead of five acre requirement, she's talking about. I think no. it was a five acre minimum, was it? Yes. Right. Okay. Minimum so requirement. So change the word requirement to minimum. Mm -hmm. I, but yeah, first prior, to, just so you understand, John, prior to this motion, there was another one made that Rachel made to increase it to a five acre minimum. Or to add. Yes. To add, to add the five acre minimum. I thought that's what that's Well, that, now this was just in there, too. With the that's five a, acre. Yeah, that was the second motion. motion. See, we, we, had, we, had two, we had a motion to turn it, to give it to the selectmen. We had a motion to recommend it to the annual town meeting on the on the first two and then the second two were the prohibition ones so i will i will write that other one up here it's in my minutes but i i skipped over it for some reason and i apologize paul that we had planned to talk and haven't had a chance okay the time went by so quickly from last, last week to this. yeah <laughs> seems but like it was just last week we met like, yeah, what think? so uh, you are correct there was first the uh vote on adding the five acre minimum that's not in here which that's you do not have added. in here now and i have that as a uh, rachel making the motion and i seconded, uh, you seconded it. it and it was four to two, four, four two, two zero, zero. yeah and then i have and then i agree with your votes as you have put them um in the minutes here in regard to forwarding both of these and then what your recommendation would be to the town meeting. I have a little bit different notes on who 
sometimes who made and who seconded. So okay, I had, let's see, I had um, Rachel and Kip to recommend to the town meeting. And I had, Rachel I had first, and on that Paul very first to one. Go to the selectmen. So the very first one you have listed here, which is to send it to the Board of Selectmen, the Marijuana Facilities and Operations Draft. Yep. That one I had John Baronis making that in motion. Well, for some reason, I had Maybe John Maybe it might Baronis have gotten switched because there was a lot of discussion back and forth. Yeah, I had John Baronis sure and Kip Camosa crossed out and then Rachel and Paul put in <laughs> okay. for some reason. I mean, we have a... All right. I don't remember why. I have Rachel and Paul on the second one. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and yours says Rachel and Kip. So, so we can resolve this by looking back at the uh, video to, to make it sure, to okay. make sure that we have it correct. Do the right. video, good. Uh, you know, unless one of you has a, re a recollection of whether you moved one of those or seconded and it's not sure. But we can double check that, that video, Enjoy that's the best way, because it is important to get this correct. Joey? This meeting is on tape, so. Joey. Right, that's what I was just saying. We'll look, at the, we'll look at that video and we can make a final determination so it's correct. No, they definitely were recording last week, so I, I like think we that. can double check that easily. Oh, well, we'll double check. We'll make sure. That was Wendy Foxman speaking in from the sidelines there, helping us <laughs> make that determination in case mm -hmm. people at home couldn't right. hear or see. Do you have another set of these these minutes, John? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna send one to um, Priscilla, and I'll mark one up myself. I think I gave you the, the. I think I gave you all the minutes. Yeah, I think the next one. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. So I can take a look at. Do you that. think we should table these minutes and revisit them next uh, month? I'd like to make a motion that we table these minutes. You want to do that? And move it to I, next. That's yeah. fine. No, because um, no, these are like going on annual. They're going on the annual warrant, warrant and town meeting and stuff. So we really need to have them. Is she proper. reviewing who said what then in, on the on the tape right now as far as vote? I, I don't think she has the time to do that now. I do have a I do have a planning board report for you. The the vote tallies the totals we all agree on and that's all that is on those planning board reports so you could vote those and still hold this to make sure you have it right about who made the motions okay. and who seconded them Fair that's enough. fine yeah you thank you good. Good. all right let's do that then okay let me just just so that we're clear on this um the changes and make sure that i've got everything here um what I have here is that I took John Waite's name off of the present. I took out Mark Ballone. Um, I changed Lily White to Lily Dwight in both places. I took out the Mark Ballone statement on the first side. Second side, I added to John Baronis's can anyone out of state buy marijuana in Massachusetts? And the answer, of course, was yes. And then on the... Um, on the first motion there, um, there should have been one before that where Rachel moved and Paul seconded a motion to, um, to add a five acre requirement Minimum. in the RA Minimum. zone. Minimum. Is that, does that make sense? Minimum. I don't know why I'm stuck on that. But, but. was it, um, was it, was it was for it? all zones or just RA? That was RA. the thing I had a question on. And the RA special permitting. Okay, because I had written in my notes an RA zone. Yep. And that was a too. vote of 420. Correct. Okay, and then, Rachel, you want to change the requirement to minimum. Just the word, yeah. Just the word. Change, the word. change requirement to minimum in both cases. Yes. The one that's not here and the one that is. And there's and actually two here already, so you're changing these two and then in the original vote. Where did you see two here it's, in the minutes? Well, both the one that forwards the zoning amendment to the Board of Selectmen and the one that gives the, the planning board recommendations. So okay, the second yep. one in gotcha. Universe. Okay. And I also noted, Paul, at the, uh, the last bullet was Steve Pistrich comment. Adam Costa's name is spelled incorrectly. It's missing the final A on Costa. There's a few, there's a few misspellings I can also just send along. Okay. Yeah. Cannabis. It up. Cannabis oh, prohibition. Yeah, no, A is, a is missing at the end of it. John. John. Yeah, there's a yeah. John. Without and where's H. the John? 
Uh, the very final John Barone is moved and Max Joined. Andy second. Okay. And we all agree that the votes are the way they should be, never mind who voted what yes. or who. Okay, yes. so we all agree on that. So right. I'd um, like to make a. Kent, what, what, um, just to be clear, who, uh, Paul, you were the acting chair? I was for the I'm, beginning of the meeting, and then Kip took over when he came in. For some reason, Adam thinks that was important, so that should be um, okay. clarified. All right, so. Um, and then if you put, I think right. Hang on just a minute. Right after old business, say you opened with a public hearing. It should be clear when you opened it and uh, that you opened it and that you closed it. Mm. Does that? Uh, that's well, that's what I was. I was trying to figure that out here. Um, so, did you open it, or did you, was I did he, open? He it. opened it, and I, I closed the public right. hearing. So just, mm -hmm. I what opened time it. I opened it, it at important. six twelve, which I believe. Well, you opened the meeting, and then you reviewed minutes, but then you should have opened the. Public no, no, no. Hearing. The review of minutes happened later on. We did not do that yeah. initially. He opened the public hearing pretty much first right away. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so I didn't. I didn't move the review of minutes to when it actually happened. It happened at the end of the meeting, not right. at the beginning. All right, Everybody so that should be, be changed then. You want to do that? Because lots in other times we've just left it there and come back to it. But that's okay. If you want to put that at the end, I'll. Well, I'm just. I just want to be very clear that you officially opened the meeting and you I read did. the public hearing notice. That should be in the minutes that that's you opened right it. there. Paul opened the meeting and read the agenda aloud. But I'm saying you should say open the public hearing. Oh, you want that's to different than a planning hearing. board meeting. Okay, yeah, that's okay. public hearing. I'll change that because that's. Because that's all we did, basically, is do the open hearing. And public according hearing. to my public notes, hearing. Paul, you opened it at 6.15 p.m. I had 6.12, but if you want Close to... Close enough for government yeah. work on that yeah. one? Okay. And then um, the, the KIPP had closed it at 6.40... Uh, 40, no, I'm sorry. At what time? He closed it at 7.46. 7.46 okay, is what you've got here. That's perfect. 7.46. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah, wait, yeah, I got that there. Never mind. Yep. Yeah, that that was that. the ending. 7.46 is what I have in the minutes, Good. right? And then you guys did the votes after you closed the public hearing, just like you're supposed to. So well run. Yeah. Man, congratulations. Paul and Kip took care of that. Nice job. Yeah. They both did a nice job of handling so the meeting in your absence. So <laughs> Kip came in um, during the. Uh, you want me to put in Kip came in at a certain time here? Six twenty p.m. I know. Yeah. If he if he took over his chair, you need to write it. Yeah. Okay. So where would you want to put that in here? I think we. I think we're. We, all of these conversations. Anyways. I think after Adam Costa had started his. No, why don't you just say you Put opened it, the and then Kip Camosa arrived shortly thereafter and took over, uh, chairing Kip the uh, chairing the meeting. Yeah, that'd be that'd be. Came. And you said at six twenty you had. Yes. In at six twenty. And typically, you would also note um, members absent. Right. So, move me so down to um, you would note that the chair was absent. Yeah, absent, John. With you know that he had notified yeah. the board that he was going to be absent. Okay. Rather than rather than writing this up for Priscilla, I will take them and redo them, and add, make those changes and send her a clean copy of it. Nice. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we have. Do we vote on this? No, I was going to make a motion and then we could discuss, yeah. but I guess the, um, I'll make a motion to accept the uh, meeting minutes from March 26 with, there's really no other, other than saying all the, all the changes. We do all agree that the votes may have been facilitated uh, by somebody other than who it says, and that'll be fixed, but the actual votes themselves are correct. I believe so, yes. Mm -hmm. That's the motion. Second? Second. second. Rachel. Okay, Discussion? Rachel. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, actually, me. I abstain. Yes, yeah, 601. Aye. All right, let's move the review mail till later and. Um, into new business, we have A and R's. Apparently, a couple of them on the, regarding Wells Cross Road and Savage Farm. And I did not find anything in our file. And I asked the applicants, um, and they actually have the applications with them, with the, with the, the maps and stuff. So if you want to come up to the table, and do you have a couple you can give yeah. to us, and then you can explain it to us? Yes. One, one. I have two A and R's. One is on Wells Cross Road, and one is on Lower Road. On what road? Lower, Lower road. road. Lower road? Yeah. 
And I will give you the lower road one first because that's going to be the most straightforward. So he says. So do we, <laughs> did, it just get, did it just get left out of the agenda? The lower road one, or are they related to something good together? As I said, Paul, we I have we do not have anything in the files yet, so this was brought to Priscilla's attention during the week, and she put it on the agenda. And I think she misunderstood. Two in our plans. Yeah. Okay. One on cross, one on lower. She assumed, that, I guess, that there was two on. Okay. Cross. All right. Okay. So I'm not familiar with how you guys deal with this stuff, so can you help me along here? If we can get. A couple of them, and we can be looking at it while you explain it to us. Okay. And I know your name, but it's to me. My name is Randy Iser. Randy Iser, okay. I Z E R, and I'm from Harold Eaton Associates. R I Z E R. Here, John. So the application says to divide off the northerly. Northerly 8.4 acres of existing parcel. Both lots have adequate frontage and area to satisfy current zoning bylaws. So this is to take one existing lot and make it into two. Correct. So we will just here. Jay Sanders, who's sitting out of the audience. This property is belongs to his mother. She's dividing this what I'm calling lot two off, and he's going to acquire it from. The lot two has enough frontage and enough area to satisfy your zoning. Her remaining land has enough frontage and area to satisfy your zoning. So her lot is. Yeah. So where's the existing Nine. lot? Nine. All right. So the existing lot is all this. The whole thing. Without now, this piece. Here, in yeah. The middle. This one came out a couple of years ago through okay. the process. So she had what's left. And what, what I have highlighted in bold oh, is I what's see. being transferred yes. out, and then what's light is what's brimming. Okay, so this is so this this lot right here is referred to as lot two. This one right here, stopping here. But what was this original lot called? Well, it was so it's assessor's map seventy one, parcel two. Okay. And now it's going to be one and two. Lot one, and I don't. I don't call this anything. It's called remaining land. Mm. Okay, so you're removing lot two from, from this. Okay, let me see if I can write that down. Well, this is already, this is already there. Correct. So, this, Randy, this line here is being added. This is really where the the division the, is going okay. to be. Yes. Right. Okay. So assessors. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty straightforward. Seventy-one parcel two. So the One. remaining has frontage of 296. Mm -hmm. yeah, plus 296 is from there to there. So oh, plus you got a little more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the new, new lot has 133 plus 153? Correct. 287. So, so it looks like that lot 2 is going to be called parcel 9 now. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? No, because down here it says parcel 9 too. It's just, it's just, it's just part of the, that's yeah. the original. So you said this was the original, 71, parcel two, which was this whole thing, right? But it includes this too. This must. No, I'm saying it, it looks like this name, he said, is this whole, this whole thing. It's all in, it's all in Karen Savage's name. Oh, yeah, okay. There's just a difference, yeah. Okay, so maybe we should reference book and page rather than. Yeah, I think. Yeah, because it does say two okay. and nine here. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Well, I'd like to make a motion that we endorse the plan. Book sixteen sixty six. Oh, the devil! You say. The yeah, angles. So page. Mm -hmm. Two ninety nine. Second it. Okay. Whoops! Wait a minute. I'll say. John. John. Bonus with an H, not a Y, <laughs> and second by Max. Now, before yeah, well, I gotta. To, well, no, I'm gonna. Back. I gotta do some discussion here about this. Okay, I was gonna say before you make up your mind, because we didn't go through the process right. correctly, right. in that we didn't file this with the town clerk. I would suggest, if the board agrees, to sign the plans and have the town clerk hold them hostage if you will, until the, Mr. Savage pays his fee and does whatever he's supposed to do. 
So I think we can put that as a condition mm -hmm. on the, you know, because all, yeah, nothing's been filed and paid, so. Right. So in the future, shouldn't we take care of that first before we even review the plans? Yes, and I explained that to the applicants, and they maybe didn't get the right story, so mm -hmm. whether we want to. As long as everybody's okay with that. Again, I, it's not the way we want to do things, but. Um, it's expedient. We're not going to see each other. Again. Signatures aren't valid until it. Uh, Actually, we won't we won't give them back any form. Actually, do you have the mylar? Yes, it's in, it's, in the it's right here. All right, so we won't we're not going to give them anything. Yeah, don't give them yeah. anything that signs so, back. Just give it to the town clerk, and then she will come and take care of business, and then that's right. That, I think that protects everybody. Swap, swap. Yes. And there is a page two of the application. Oh, that's just a checklist, is it not? Yeah, there's some other information on there, including um, the signatures too. No, just for just for if there is, I'll, I'll purposes, get how much is the fee supposed to be? Um, 150 because it's uh, 100 for the application and then 50 per lot, so they're creating one extra lot. It's 150. Could so you, you write that on the form and just so there's no question, please? So, so as I was questioning because sometimes it's 50, it's it's each, there's two lots being created. Well, no, we've had this discussion. Yeah, that's why. That's why I was asking one the question. New lots. New lots. So it's Only new lots. Fifty dollars okay. per new lot. Okay. So. All right. So we had a uh, the motion with the Second. condition that um, it, the plans not be released until. Okay. These are yeah, I'll, applications. I'll, I'll, proper. Okay, I'll redo the motion. So I'd like to make a motion that we endorse the plans. However, applicant does not get the signed copies until things have been legalized through the town hall. Okay. Picked up. Picked up at. Uh, um, the plans can be picked up when payment is made at. When application and proper payments are made. Yeah. yeah. Okay. To the town clerk. Town, town clerk. clerk. You still, you still second that, Max? <laughs> Any other discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? I abstain. Six, zero, one. Okay. Any other discussion? Any other discussion? Actually, page two has a place that I signed that it's, in, that it, that it's been endorsed, actually. So I don't have page two. Okay. Oh, yes. There you go. There's Boom. A little bit more. So, I do. But we can sign these. April, uh, April 2nd. And I don't know how many copies you guys need. Well, we keep, we need, sign. we need uh, three and then the mylar. Yeah. Okay. So, so well, I want to make sure I sign on the same line. I hate signing on different lines, so. <laughs> When everybody else is gone. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I'll just do these They're right underneath the channel so I can just do. Sharpies anymore on these things. Pens, pens work. So I'm going to pass them this way, and then they'll come back your way. The registry doesn't keep the mylars anymore like they used to. No. They just scan them and give it. At least Greenfield, they scan it and give it right back to me. They used to keep them in their files forever. That's why they had to be with a sharpie and on the mylar and uh -huh. blah blah blah. So. So do they even have hard copies anymore? I'm I mean, sure they have hard copies of the old stuff, but any of the, the new, new stuff, stuff they that's, don't. That's insane. Yeah, it is. All right, you want to try your next one? <laughs> you were successful on that, so let's keep going. Okay. This one is similar in our disregard for following rules. No, following perfectly. Rules, yes. Protocol, no. Okay. <laughs> so this one is on Welch property. There are two different properties 
on Wells Crossroad, one that Mr. Shadow currently owns, and one that he's in the process of buying. And rather than make two different plans, I made one plan with everything on it. That's why you have two form A's, because there's two different ownerships. Uh, the property that Mr. Savage owned, he was able to sign the form A. The other property is, is that the Gripco estate? Yes, Helen and Gripco. The uh, owners are all over the country, as I understand, and it's been difficult to try to get a hold of them. So we're going to have to figure out something to do with that. All right, so this is the one that doesn't have an address, right? Well, it's one, one, no one, number? There's one that's got no number because that's just farmland currently. And then there's one that's for Wells Crossroads, which is the house on the corner. Here it is. This is in the list. So, Randy, what about the legal signatures for the property that Savage Farms is trying to buy? The grip goes. Try to get that work. It may happen that he ends up buying it before we can get a hold of the um, current owners. And I'm not. I don't know what the board's, what your rules are all about in terms of making sure that the owner signs. Not every planning board does that. Just because we, I bring a plan to you and make all these new lines, and you were to sign it, nothing legal can happen with the transfer unless the owner does that. Yeah. So I mean, personally, I, I does, does be what? nervous about signing something without the owner's signature. Well, again, we're on the same thing. He's going to have to go. If we read, yeah. we'll hold these as well until you have the proper paper. Yeah, because the owner sign these, they get enough signatures. That's fine. If I could just interrupt on that, um, <clears throat> the house, Helen's house, which is, is for Wells stucco Crossroad. Yeah. What's that? The stucco one. The stucco yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah, right across. Um, I was supposed to close on that mm -hmm. over a month ago um, when I had purchased the farmland. But we found an issue with an underground oil tank, and I put the whole thing on hold. They, had, in, the pro in the meantime, have fixed the oil tank issue. Um, and so we're literally days away from, from the closing. So if, just to give you a little heads up on, on where we're at with that, so. I mean, you, you can buy it and close, it doesn't matter when we do this. And right, we, but right. I mean, I mean, obviously you wanna be able to I, do I, this. Obviously I'd like to just yeah. get this done this evening. We're yeah. here, we have right, the paperwork. Right, right. But it's not gonna um, hold up any closing is what I'm right. saying. So, um, all right, let's, let's do this first one first, the one that he, that Jay does own. Okay. That we've got the right signature on. What, okay. What's that That's one? That's on the south side of Wells Crossroad, as you're looking at it, would be on your left, which is lot C and lot D. Five and 10, no, the Wells Crossroad, all right. Okay. Chappies are here, okay. So. Rachel, is there a rubber band for these, Amy? Uh, I've got them. Okay. We didn't keep any copies out of there, so we gotta. Oh, we're going to hold on. We're going to hold on. Yeah. Right. So anyhow, lot C is going to be conveyed to Chapley, who owns the lot on 5 and 10. So they're going to buy this lot C, which is 4.308 acres, with a barn and a garage on it. Mr. Savage is going to keep lot D for himself. This is uh, raised, this land is higher than this land. So this is an old overgrown pasture kind of situation and this is currently used as farmland. So Mr. Savage does not have any use for this. Apparently the Chapleys do, so they're going to buy that from him. And he's going to keep lot D. Okay, just for my own purposes. So th this sale has already taken place. Over he owns this. So Jay owns, Jay owns this. The whole thing, yes. And this is the one he's hoping to close Correct. on in the next few days. Yes. So the line for this one is this line. You're, that is right. You're trying That's to make right. this. All right. That's is that in these direct, is that in the? So divide existing lot, uh, 87. 87. Parcel, parcel one. one. Yeah. Divide that into two parcels. 
one will be transferred to a butter has nothing to do with us, and the other two be it just wants to divide it. That's all we care about. Correct. We don't care who. And who what's is. the page in the lot? I mean, the book and page. So it's a. Uh, no. Oh, see also one twelve. Well, it's one. Of the book. So this is what you want. Right? Seventy-one fifty. Uh, yeah. Is the book? Yeah. The book. Page. And the page? 153. Mm -hmm. 153. Right. And so you're dividing that into two lots and you're calling them C and D? Correct. Okay. Randy, this parcel here, so was this all, or is, is, the, is this all one parcel right now from here, or is this separate yes, from no, this? Yes, no, that's correct. It's we haven't got to that, John. We haven't got to that. We're still voting on this one. We're, we're doing two votes. These are two different. We're doing two votes. These are two different A and R's, yeah. This, it's just he's just it's using one map is what he said to yeah. save. I, I, so I do we have I've two never, signature lines then? I know. It is true. We should have two uh, signature lines. I've never done that before. It should, we have it shouldn't two. matter. You're, you're signing for two everything All right. that's shown on the plan. The, you have, I have two form A's just because I have different ownerships. Two separate votes should be two separate yeah. signature lines. I'm not, I know. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going along right. with that one. I'm not not. But if we approve them both, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, there are enough copies there. I mean, we have two different applications. So, um, now, can I, so can there's going to be $100 plus $50 here, and then another $100 and another $50 here, because they're two different applications. But well, this will actually be $200. Well, yeah, I don't know. Just take two separate votes, like, yeah. on, you know, B and the yeah. Chapley one. And just make it very clear that we approve both of those yeah. and just sign the one. Oh, yeah, I'd like to think. Just look I think at if, so if, if we don't, if, if we don't approve one, then we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, then there'd be an issue. Well, I would do vote A and B then, and then just put a B next and put two signatures mm -hmm. on it. I, I you think could do they, that too. I just so think they both the, require mm -hmm. a separate signature. Just, just so I understand here, this this line, okay, there's two lines here. No, sorry, sorry, we're up on this one, Paul. We're doing this. Yeah. Okay. So right, that so diagonal line. Is yeah. Well, yeah. Well, um, I, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, endorse the lot D and C portion of this A and R as um, I, I, as an endorsement. And we we did uh, look at the the frontage is over. It's Several hundred? Where I'm trying to. Yeah, 300 plus 160, so we're going to 75-ish there on that one. I'm not seeing, there's 164. Where's the other right number? Here. You got it upside down. Well, because of the barn. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then over here is uh, 763. Right. And the acres, all right. Yeah. All right, do we have a, mo a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of endorsing this one? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Abstain? Abstain. Right. I'm abstaining because I've done business with Jay. And okay. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the first step. Okay. And that is, again, um, application in one lot, so $100 plus $50, so that's 150, 150. Parcel R. All right. And so the other one now is down here. So this is. Uh, so that was vote A, right, John? Yep. Yeah. So you want me to make that somewhere here? Uh, that vote A? Yes, it should be in the minutes. Okay. I'm sorry. So now you want to, you're taking uh, map 86. Uh, so book, book number what now for this next one? So this is map 86. It's, um, book. There's two deeds, two deeds on this one. So, so six, nine, you're two. combining two lots, is that? No, no. There's two different ownerships. This is in a, it was in an estate. So somebody got part of it years back and then somebody got the remainder of it a few years ago so there's four different owners via two deeds on this so if it's easier for you you can do the the zoning the assessor's map and parcel because it's just one lot and it's, it all makes sense on this one right a b and parcel r Gregory so Berko. there's no book and page on this is that what right here so there's that one and then this one. So there's 
That's one deed, and that's the second. And so what's okay? So I I missed what this is trying to what you're trying to accomplish here. Okay, we haven't gotten there yet. Okay, that's why I missed it. Okay. Okay. So on the north side of Wells Crossroad is the existing house and a barn. We are cutting that out. I'm calling that lot B. It has more than 200 feet of frontage. It has more than 60,000 square feet. The side yard setback from the barn to the new property line is more, I think you gotta have 15 feet. 20, 20 down here and 32 up there. At, the, at a minimum. So there's no zoning uh, setback violations. Then lot A is an empty lot. It has 200 feet of frontage, it has 77,846 square feet. At no point is the lot less than 100 feet wide. Uh, it, uh, it wraps around onto Wells Crossroad. I don't know what the, this town's policy is on accessing something over some uh, the part of the lot that's not your legal frontage, uh, but if that's allowable, more than likely, Whoever buys this will want to access off of Wells Crossroad rather than out on the busy Greenfield Road. But the frontage is on Greenfield Road. Is on Greenfield Road. Yeah, and we're talking Lot A. Lot A we're looking at now, yeah. Yeah, I, yes. I don't know what, what the zone is saying about accessing the road. I'm not sure they care, does it? That will come up uh, for building permits. Right, right. Um, so you're taking you know, two. Two parcels and creating two new parcels no, from one two. parcel with two different deeds of ownership. I know that can get confusing, but it is just one existing parcel. And in addition to the lot A, I have something that I'm calling parcel R, mm. which is a 20 foot wide strip that's going to be conveyed to, what is this guy, Molinar? Oh, over here. That, yeah, is that how we? This one. Yeah, not to, so, not to no, this not one. No, not to this one. To this one so he can access his farmland oh. off of Wells Crossroad. And rather than give a right of way, we are creating a separate parcel. I have a note on that parcel that says it is not a separate building lot. Just so. And that's 20 feet wide? Yeah. Huh. Wow. So is that, what does that say? So you're creating a non-conforming By I'm telling you that it's not a building lot, then you, as I, I've never had a board not sign something like that. Yeah, it's not up to us to endorse it whether or not it's a building lot. It's just for exactly. us but to endorse it, whether it's a subdivision or not is really what. But can it even be a, any kind of lot? Well, it's not really a lot. Not that's why, I, in a situation like this, you'll notice that the stuff that's I have that's buildable, yeah. I call it a lot. This one I'm calling a parcel, and then also telling you that it's not a building lot, so that there is no confusion. Right. Well, actually, yeah, I guess you're right because if if you just did that and then you conveyed it to this person, it makes sense. You right, you it to this person, we don't we don't decide who you convey it to. So, okay. You could did divide you, a piece you, of property you have this on a, one foot on by CD one foot anywhere square anywhere if you wanted to. I think can I'd you like under to do it just we in don't case have I have problems about writing this up later? No, it's if you've got uh, that, I, I take it, it, give it to back to the, the divisionary property. You can do whatever you want. It's whether or not yeah. it's buildable, considered a building lot. <coughs> so rear and side yard setbacks are ten feet. So this is twenty. So you, yeah. All right. I just wanted more room in case some somebody that is going to possibly have farm equipment. Going in that barn, there's enough room to get. Yeah, those are at pre-existing zoning anyways, John. They could have inevitably run that line right up next to the barn. So. No, well, no, he's creating. This is a new line he's creating. You can't? I thought pre-existing zoning was no, state law. No, he's creating a new line, John. Because it's new. Yeah. Once I start changing boundary lines, then I have to comply yeah. with Real. current zoning as best I can. Yeah, absolutely. If I have a lot where... Your, your frontage is 200 feet, and there's only 150 feet, I obviously can't make it bigger. If you were separating these two part, between here and here, I think that's when that would have taken. Well, then that's a whole different ball. Take it, but whatever, yeah, yeah. it's. Um, yeah. Can I just ask Pat, do you hear anything that we should be asking questions about here? The correct answer is uh, 
<laughs> Don't influence her. Uh, there's a lot of questions that have been raised. First of all, there was a, an issue as to your frontage definition, and that's on page 17982 of the bylaws, and that reads, the frontage shall mean the boundary of a lot coinciding with the street line, being an unbroken distance along the way currently maintained by the town, county, or state, or along ways shown on the definitive plans of approved subdivisions, through which, and this is the important part, actual access to the potential building site shall be required. So your, so your access is, must go over that frontage according to their Can't definition. Yeah. So as long as that can, it sounds like you had enough. But again, there. we're not calling this a building lot or not, and we're not giving the you don't, building permit. You, in so. no case do right. you ever call them a building lot or not. You stamp every right. plan saying yes. that you're not voting, you're not right. commenting in any way as to right. it's, uh, whether it's a so building lot or not. So all we know not. is that they do have frontage on here of 200 As long as they have the sufficient frontage, that's really all you need to look right. at. So like that what? makes that 20-foot wide strip a little bit problematic because it doesn't have the frontage. And, and they, since they, they don't distinguish and endorse in endorsing between buildable lots and non-buildable lots, that is yeah, not see, their determination. That one's, a little, that one's a little bit more problematic. If, uh, if the intent is to sell it to that abutter, why not create an A&R redrawing that line so that that is actually then assigned to that abutter? So then you're redrawing the lines of that. So you're sort of moving that. At no point are you creating that 20-foot wide strip as a separate lot. You're creating a new lot that would incorporate it mm -hmm. for that abutter. Well, it's still a part of this property. So I understand what you're saying. Yeah, that's but the, the real issue with that yeah, is yeah, sure. if I, let's result. say that neighbor's property is 200 acres. And now you're going to tell me I've got to survey 200 acres to add this 20-foot strip to it. And I don't think that's fair and reasonable, and again, I do have a note on here that it's to be conveyed to the abutter, and I do have a note on there that it is not a buildable lot. And I, I, um, any client of mine is entitled to create a non-conforming lot if they so choose. They have to deal with the consequences. Because a planning board signs this, yeah. It doesn't mean, as you said, that it is a legal building lot. I also have a note on all my plans that say planning board endorsement, that this plan meets all zoning requirements. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe that I'm creating something that doesn't meet zoning requirements because I'm not trying to create a building lot. I'm, trying to, I'm just cutting a parcel. It's no different, as, as the chairman said, if, if I wanted to sell that to this neighbor, that neighbor, or whatever. Mm -hmm. We are we are entitled to do that. But Mr. Chairman, it is, and it sounds like I haven't seen the plans, but it sounds like from what you're describing that it is now being carved out as a separate lot. It's a creation And absent of a, the frontage, yeah. you're not supposed to endorse right. a separate lot. It has frontage, but not enough to become not a, the, and you're, you're not enough to, square footage to become a building lot. When you endorse an A&R plan, plan, in essence, you know, with all the case law and everything, what you are saying is that it has the required frontage. But, well, and that one doesn't. And it's so accessible. that's what makes it problem. So there actually should and be it's also a, accessible, another right, right for that. There's two access things. over that, yes. It has to yes. be accessible yes. as well. Reasonable access be, over it that It can't frontage. be at the top of a cliff, in other words. Right. It's got to yeah. be yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and again, but it seems like so, sometimes we've, we've created a landlocked lot sometimes, I think. Sometimes there yeah, are out that. lots of yeah. that nature. That, and then they might sell it to a neighbor who then <laughs> ends up being able to get to it. So that's kind of what this is. It's, it's almost well, a. Yeah. So, so if what I'm, if, tell me if what I'm hearing is correct. You're basically saying you can't sell anything less than a building lot? No, no. Oh, no. That's Just so you can't establish thing. it as a separate lot on an A&R. You could sell that piece to him and then, and, and I would assume there's already an existing survey that you could just attach that piece no. to if that no. were to go no. through. No, you cannot sell that without make a plan. It, make it into different. Because it has to be know. recordable for somebody who writes these. If, if you're changing boundary lines <coughs> in any way, shape, or form, whether it's 10 miles or 10 inches, this board or a board has to sign it. Mm -hmm. and so did, you, did you see it? Does that help? I feel. I can uh, Not I that it helps, Maybe I but get a I question. It, and I'll call it Helen Gripko's and Carlo Allen's. Where is the existing line between them? No. Yeah, that's right here. 
because it's it's dark, so it yeah. almost looks like you're creating that line, but that already exists. This line, you're exists. creating this line right so here. You want to move it over okay. the That's what feet. I thought. Yeah. That's a found iron pin, right? Oh, access. So so access. So so Mr. Pioneer Gardens can access. Yeah, I know. I've seen that strip. I think if we do a third vote for parcel R, I think that covers us. So you know what I mean. So parcel A and B are one vote, and then parcel R is another vote because it's an entirely different, different. Uh, Can I just throw? But this still isn't your. I don't. This still isn't property. I mean, the property owners are still. Right. We can't do anything until we get. Right. He's almost like creating three on this map, actually, because it's. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yes, well, you. It is. Two new ones from right. this yeah. is all one, so and then he's going to create this. Can you show me the, the lines here again? The, sure. What this is the existing. Oh, I know line. this. I know this line right. here. So he's but creating this line this, here. Is this okay. coming out of this property? Yes, it all yes. is. And none of this property is right. involved, right? Correct. Right. That's their. That's their original line. That's the original. Right. Line. right. Okay. And all they're doing yeah. is making. So you've he's got. Buying a strip of land so you've got us. three. You've got two. One, two, that's three. A, that's a plan. Oh, that's a plan. Yeah. Okay, that's why. Okay, that's okay. what I was trying. So, so it's just these two, two book deeds. and page that have to be dealt with. Okay. Correct. And again, it's two, two deeds, one parcel. It's, it, you, what happens sometimes is somebody will sell their kids fifty percent interest today, and then next week they sell the other kids the other fifty percent. Okay. So I have to All show right. two deeds because they're two different. All right. That's what I was trying to figure out. Okay. Yeah. So there's two. This. The, the original lot consists of two different deeds, 20, 26, 34, 26, 34, page 89, no, 149. Okay. So what's going to happen with that 20-foot strip is it's going to become part of the abutter's property. Right. And that, that happens all the time as well without surveying everything. Because well, no, again, because all you got to do is find these two points and take that line out, right? Yeah. Yeah, take that one point out. So, so read us again the, the things that we review. The frontage. We, so when you're, when you're signing an A&R, yeah. you're looking at whether it has sufficient frontage and whether it has adequate access across that frontage. So as Paul pointed out, you know, it can't be a divided highway. You know, right. so that you can't get in. Yeah. It can't be at a cliff, so it's impossible to get across. It can't be a raging river. But when we... And we're the only state in the union that has A&R. Right. Correct. But also, when you say create sufficient frontage, frontage for what? For no. Building Access. Lot. We're not looking for a building lot. You, are, so you, you do not have the final say on whether they're building lots or not. All the laws, right. all the A&R exactly. forms always have that right. stamp on it saying that you are simply right. voting as to whether it... How's that, that frontage in there? The frontage I, being 200 feet? 200 feet in this case. This is an RR, right? I believe yes. that the, the land that that is abutting to is already APR'd. So and that has, that has sufficient frontage. That's why you're saying if they brought this at the same time and it showed sufficient frontage and they're going to add this on. Yes. See, that's the difference. But, if it's already, but it's, it's, it's already, already APR. APR so there's, it's, ne there's never going to be any building there. Right. You can't build on the lot. No, no, no. I'm not talking that's about not building relevant. Lots. We're not talking about no, building. That's, that's, that's not relevant. That's not relevant. relevant. It's it's not relevant. relevant. Um, the, I, I understand what you're saying, but I respectfully yeah. disagree with you. And I am not the final authority on this. I think, you know, it, it, this is one of the ones that's sufficiently complicated, you know, that it might be worth a quick question to council yeah. to advise the board. And since you don't have the signatures anyway and are going to be holding it, yeah. that might give you some time. I don't, I'm not on so that. comfortable. Uh, like, like you say, this, this down here is not a problem. Right. I, um, but this is still. And this is somehow procedural is what we're issuing. Right. It's a procedural, procedural thing. I mean, I, I say you could sell one square foot if you wanted to of your property. It's just being all mixed up as one makes it pretty. <laughs> and because we don't have to, I mean, the applicant has got this before us kind of in advance of mm. a few, you know, I's dotted T's crossed anyway. So we've yeah. got a good sense for what we need to do. Why not? I would caution you, though, that once you have received these, which you now have done tonight, you have a 20 day, 21 day period. No, it, 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 it they hasn't already been properly filed. It's only when it's properly filed does the 21 days begin. This has not been properly filed. 
it's having been reviewed, and you know, I, I think they would make an argument, and they'll probably be in the office tomorrow. So, I, I would, I would get as, on that application. I would ask the yeah. applicant to check the box, allowing it to take longer than the 21 yeah, days, so that it can happen at your next regularly scheduled meeting yeah. a month from. So we don't have to meet again. I'd like to make a motion that we ask the applicants for an extension until our next meeting to get advisement from legal counsel. That sounds good to me. Um, why, can't, why can't we approve um, which, the, just the parcel and the chapter parcel? We can approve that, can we? Well, they, they yeah, but it's on the same, the same map, map, yeah. So if we're going to do that, I'm going to have to bring in a plan that just shows that. that you're in a, if he's in a hurry, no, we can wait. We can okay. I mean, it's almost like we want to approve that and this, just not that. <laughs> Well, it's not the fact that but it can't all, be endorsed. It's just yeah, exactly. how procedurally, how is that done? Yeah. And what precedent we're setting? Yeah. yeah. Well, we are because we're reviewing these. We shouldn't even oh, okay. review that these. To tell, you, to, to tell you the truth, them, we're endorsing yeah. two different. Now it seems to me that we have in the past sold a piece of property to the a butter. Oh, yeah. without yeah. without having to redo their whole property. But line. what we're saying is, if we had seen this person's plan that showed. The, Proper no, what but I'm still, this is a separate. What I'm well, saying is, it seems as though that we. I mean, we're not. Think about what. Yeah, but the frontage doesn't matter you, for, for. What kind of problem are you going to create if you endorse that plan? Well, because Jay doesn't have ownership so of it now. That's, 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 that's my right. biggest. Relative to the land. Right. What, are we, what kind of problem are we going to create? That you'd have this piece of land, it's this little. Yeah. Non-conforming thing that doesn't belong to. You know, well, yeah, but the owner has the right to do that. That's the owner has an absolute right to do that. But we don't endorse things that don't have frontage and size. You, you, it has to be. There has to be a way to do that. I know. A and R's well, that's, I think, that's, that's, I remember it's, one on Whitmore Ferry Road. It was there was frontage. And there was a parcel in the back, and they cut a little hunk off and yeah. added on to that other one because the other person, and there was like, could be landlocked if it wasn't that, but we endorsed that, and it's almost the, this one has frontage, yeah. so. It's no different than if I built a garage too close to my property line. That was what I was just and wondering. And I need 10 feet from my neighbor right, and you buy to it. comply with right. zoning, I'm going to do something similar to that, uh, yeah. and the board is not going to tell me that you can't sign that. Uh. We did the exact same that monsters. exact same thing on Coats Ave last year. Uh, well, yeah, something happened on Sand Gully not too long ago too. They had to do a property swap because somebody built a garage on the other guy's property. <laughs> they had to and, and also, it doesn't apply to this, but I did the exact same thing in Montague six years ago, and it was 20 feet wide by 400 feet long to gain access to another parcel of land. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's totally legal to do that. It's just procedurally how, yeah. I almost think that it has so, to be voted on as I guess one two parcels yeah. and then voted on again as a third parcel. Yeah, well. Almost like three. Right, three that, that's the way that I map, see it. This one's two right now we're looking at because it's that 20-foot strip and then you're breaking out Helen's building lot or mm -hmm. house lot, whatever so you want to call it. So I made a motion to ask the applicant for an extension till our next meeting. Um, I don't think we have to make a motion. I think if he say, if he agrees to it, that's all we got to do. Well, I, I think if he signs it, we don't have to have I a motion. I made a motion and... Yeah, I, don't, I think he's just got to sign it if okay. he agrees, okay. that's well, all. I just want to understand what... What going to, what we want to get legal counsel, yeah. legal counsel on this, because my other thing that I just thought about here is like, like if these people, the neighbors, have a house here, and all of a sudden this becomes a road, they never thought this is going to become a road to this property, and I don't want us to get yeah, kind of I, in you're trouble. Splitting hairs there. I don't think we have. Nobody has the authority. If he, to he do could that. give them right away, and it would, they'd yeah. still be effectively the same thing. So I don't think. But it's just procedurally how we handle this as a. Well, there's only 20 feet here, so there's no setbacks for anything. They already use that as an access point, if it's you're familiar with yeah, the tractors. I'm, but I'm just saying. I know. I'm know, just saying, John, they already exist already, basically. Yeah. Just, I, I mean, I don't uh, think there's a need to overthink that. It's just, I, I think procedurally right. there's going to be a special way that we vote on yeah. this. Is what right. I'm thinking. Because. Right. So we will put this as 
first up on the next meeting, if you uh, give us, actually, it'll just be an extra week. Twenty one. Yeah. Uh, That'll be even better. Um, <laughs> so he just has to sign that. And this would divide existing lot. That's a nice place, Jay. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's nice though. It is. It is. <laughs> With what? <laughs> all right. So we'll keep all. Or well. And Mr. Chairman, just so to kind of ease your that, I mean, for Peter, as someone mentioned, he didn't have to divide this to sell it. He could just give the guy a right away, and nobody in town would know the better, and the same things would happen. Yeah, you'd yeah, have to have the set. You'd have to have a setback. Though. No, no, no. 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 For he just has a no, right, right away. Go right 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 that piece of property. Just Twenty-four. Actually, drive my yeah. vehicle over. He can give me land. The, the right to drive my vehicle over his property. Yeah. If, if he so chooses, he just felt it would be cleaner to to give it. To oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than have right a right away over somebody's property where then that but he's selling it then the at least the open yeah. up a can of worms right. when you get a new owner in there yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right away over my yard or right, right away is uh, a choice okay so, i mean that's what makes the ars in massachusetts so confusing and two years ago we almost got rid of a bunch of legislature sure. voted and we had so much pressure to go in What's our next meeting going to be? Right. May. Gonna, we got to set that. Story. May seventh is town. Jay, this isn't like holding me up. Well, that's right. We got to deal with town meeting. Uh, bill voting. Oh, so May seventh, we can't vote. We can't. Right. And it's not. It'll be. How long is being used for? Yeah, it's not a matter of what's public here. And you're loving it. Do you want to? Do you want to advance no, 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 our uh, meeting to the? No, I don't know why you're not sitting. I know you haven't not. been here uh, in thirty yeah. years. Yeah. 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 Where would you be at the meeting? Um, planning board. Oh, I gotta be there. Just keep them, I guess. Keep them. Do you want to meet on uh, when? When's when's the annual meeting? Monday. The seventh is the voting. The annual meeting is the thirtieth. Oh, so can, we can't meet that day, right? And Tom. then the seventh is the is the, the voting. voting. So that's Monday. So, why so we, we have the, to do Tuesday, maybe. Instead. We could do Tuesday the eighth, or, or Tuesday we the can't 8th. do the ninth. Actually, we, we we could meet prior to the uh, town we could meeting. Meet the thirtieth. And on, or the Four voting weeks. day. Oh, voting day. We're not supposed oh, to. Meet? No, Voting's no. all day long. Sorry. So how about the thirtieth prior to the town meeting? We uh, we just meet for 15 minutes and endorse this. No, we don't. Oh, so okay with me. We just got to have a quorum. If it takes 15 minutes. That'd be fine. Well, I think we're, we're <laughs> not. We don't have to talk much more about work. it. We've done all the work. We really. <laughs> can't talk much more, Roger. John, <laughs> I'd like to make a motion that um, we seek town council for advisement on right. the no, oh, yeah. on vote B, how procedurally we should go through it, if at all we have to do any sort of a procedure whether we yep. can just say yay or nay that's now, that's my motion now but I've, I've also got a question about the date and the time I mean are we going to have any other stuff we should do in May that's, that's going to take us more than 15 minutes to do I mean that's what you're yeah, doing probably want to do it the second the second uh, do it on the 14th maybe the eighth or the eighth Tuesday yeah the eighth. well I made a motion What's the eight? <laughs> we're gonna, can we put that motion on hold until we go? Well, part of your motion is when are we going to take this up again? Right. Thank you. Because we want them to sign the extension. I'll second it. Well, don't we second it and then have I'll discussion? I'll second it. I second it. So if it never second seconds, it. there's no discussion. discussion. Okay, now. Nah, discussion. When is the John's date of the next happy. meeting? It's either, either we're talking either the 8th or the 14th. I 8th mean, those is Tuesday. 14th is the next Monday. Monday. So whatever you. I'm away for two and a half weeks in the first, beginning of May. So I, both of those are no good for me. So. Okay. So, so your 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 so decision you're doesn't mean diddly. So I'm diddly. Yeah. Yeah. You're I'm both diddly. Monday <laughs> <laughs> eighth is better for you. Eighth. You want to do the eighth or the? Eighth May works for me. We got looks I'm like in. get at least four five people. How many? Everybody say May eighth's okay. Yep. Seven o'clock. 
Yep. Okay, May 8th. And if by some chance town council tells you that this is not a good thing, please let, let me know, know so that I can yeah, yeah, yeah. revise the plans so okay. we can move this thing. I forward. think he may ask to see it done in two votes. That's, that's my thoughts on it. Right, so I don't know. The, uh, I've never do, had it happen that way, but take that, chore. that doesn't this mean is that everybody else is right. This well, I mean, and I, I, I really, I mean, I wouldn't bring something before you or any board that I didn't think was legal and legitimate. No, that, yeah, we hear that. We're not questioning it so much as we just want to not get in trouble. Yep. No, I hear you. I understand. <laughs> Pretty much. I understand. <laughs> and that's why, I, that's why I asked, what, what do you think, you know, what kind of problems do you think that will, will Now, he's got to sign that, right? Or did he sign it already? Yeah, so if you could initial this. Uh, okay. I have to put until so I put three days after. It says three days after the next posted plan. So May eighth, so May eleventh. I put May eleventh on this. Yeah. Uh, but you need so that they know that but you're the allowing them to not to take longer than the twenty-one days that they legally have to act on it. Yeah. So you're just giving us until May eleventh. Normally we would only have until April. Whatever. 23rd, 20 to 21 days from now. Um, so, sorry, so you're just initialing right here. Please initial here. And on this one, um, and th so this one's complete except for the 150. This one, actually, you should take this back and get the signatures. When, when do you, th you think you'll get the signatures? I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, by, that time, by that time, he'll, his signature will be fine. Oh, cool. So that's the best part of that. Yeah. Sign Right under here, like you did on this one. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're ready to do it. All right, we will be in touch. Jay, okay, don't be a stranger. Yeah. yeah. See you on the 8th. <laughs> I'm also going to be the here. <laughs> Thank you all. Have a good night. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Andy, Jay. Mr. Chairman, who wants to take up the obligation of Dealing with the lawyer on this, do you want to do it? Yes, because I'll, yeah, I can do yeah. it tomorrow and the next day. So okay. I'm going to talk to the town clerk about, because I'm going to leave these with her and she's going to okay. wonder why. Sure. And then I'll talk to, um, I mean, is this an Adam Costa thing or? Yeah. I guess, I mean, it should, it should be quick for him. Yeah. So you got enough, you got enough things to do. Here. Oh, sorry, I just want to make sure. No, I, I appreciate that. Mr. Chair, I don't think we have any public comment. I know. <laughs> and it's going to be long, I know. I know it. <laughs> so usually at the beginning of our meetings, we do have a public comment. And it, I apologize, it wasn't on the agenda. But this is a time when we'd ask anybody that's present that has any questions or concerns for, on things that are not on the agenda. Looks like sure. that soldier's asleep behind Eric, though, too. <laughs> and the soldier doesn't have anything to say. All right. No public comment okay. tonight. No public comment. All right. So our next issue is um, request for comments on uh, there's a whole folder here. Okay, here it is. So these are zoning board things. Going to the zoning board. Um, I'll just take that with you yeah. for the moment. But. Well, these are requests from comments from our own town. Oh. So our, um, our, our zoning board wants uh, comments 37 South Main Street. They are seeking a variance for alteration to a pre-existing lot and a structure on a non-conforming lot. <coughs> on um, April 5th, there's going to be a public hearing regarding the application of Blake Corey of 37 South Main. Mr. Corey is seeking a variance for alterations. Gory. G. Gory. To a pre-existing lot and structure on a non-conforming lot located at 37 South Main Street. He wants to add a, he wants to double the size of his building. Okay, that. He's a welding company. Okay, so that's, that's all the, this is all the information we have. Um, so do we have any comment? Seeking a variance for alterations on a pre-existing lot on a non-conforming lot. Well, my comment would be whatever is allowable according to our bylaws. Well, they're seeking a variance, so I guess it's, they're seeking something that's not according to our bylaws. Right. 
I just have to so be Mr. over there Chair. today talking to him, and they bought the property that this building is on, and now they're going to they want to add on to it. All right. Yes. The non-conforming uses and structures portion of the bylaws, section 2250, it starts on page 179.12. 2253D reads, the reconstruction, extension, or structural change of a non-conforming structure in such a manner as to increase an existing non-conformity or create a new non-conformity including the extension of an exterior wall out or along the same non-conforming distance within a required yard shall require the issuance of a variance from the Board of Appeals. So I assume it is under that right. requirement that it's being, so that so they are, so they are apparently requesting an increase to an existing non-conforming or that, creating a new one. When is that meeting? Now, fifth of also April. that goes it's along 30. with that, you're probably going to have um, your impermeable surface question asked if it's already could potentially so be that would be I don't know anything about the property in question well I, 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 I know it's not a lot for us to make to, a I just happen to be there he's going to tear down a building that is behind where he wants to put this new building up so mm -hmm. I that's all I do know so it's he's not it to me it looked like he was going to take a, a storage building tear so it he's down taking something down and, and putting another thing size. up yeah there are two detached buildings and he's going to tear down the uh -huh. the southerly one and put up uh, put an addition to double the size of his existing building so you've got to attend this meeting here and look they've got right to really not enough information got exactly. to have plans there to look so at. we have not enough information not enough yeah. information i mean normally we say go to the bylaws yeah, right. But obviously, this is something beyond the bylaws, and that's why. Yeah, uh -huh. just, we could just say that we'll we'll address well, this on site plan review. I mean, that's and stormwater. Would I mean, it come the, to site plan? I, I, I doubt it. Not more not more not he wouldn't have to. But with a variance, I think that's what he read. He wouldn't right. have to come with site plan review. Not yes, he would. I think he would. Again, have to it come. depends on the size and nature. It's of over the, 600 feet, and if it's under 600 feet, it's over 600 really square matter. feet. I know this, but. I mean, what he's going to add on. I mean, I, I just happened to be, like I say, I was there today. If it is over so. 600 square feet, then it, it would be likely that they would yeah. be coming for, they should be coming for site plan review then. So, so what, if it's over, if, if the addition is... The first threshold under 5400 site plan review is for municipal, institutional, commercial, industrial, or multifamily structure, one, a change of use, or two, construction, exterior alteration, or exterior expansion that will cumulatively add more than 600 square feet over a three-year period. Yeah, that's to prevent them from putting 600 feet this year, 600 feet right. next year. So yeah. That's, that was another issue. Or 599 each year, never trigger, you know, the 600 never triggered. Well, that all triggered because of somebody. Butterfly town. Museum. I think, Museum. wasn't it? Museum. Yeah. Or whatever they are. <laughs> Conservatory. All right. So I said not enough information for us to provide comment. If alterations are more than 600 square feet or a change of use, it will require a site plan review. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. But yep. then we'll have plenty of time to comment. Because a lot of times they won't make a, a quote till he's gone through the whole process with everybody. Yeah. So then another, uh, on April 5th, another uh, variance is being sought by Hugh Mayheim, Mannheim, 39 Thayer Street. Due to the structure's non-conforming use on a non-conforming lot that has been vacant for over a period of two years beyond its grace period, making the variance a requirement. That's all it says? That's all it says. It doesn't say Basically, there's an old home that's being uh, rebuilt. It's, they're not tearing the frame down, but they've got to be inside, and they're going to just rebuild it. There's no additions or anything. It's going to the cemetery, uh, St. Yeah. Stanislaus Cemetery, Born Ave, I think they right. refer to it as. Huh. So, so we have no problem, or we don't want to make would, it? I would say it's no problem. You want to read that so one? why does that oh why does that require a variance yeah. because uh, I guess it's I'm, over it's two, over two something years about old. two years old it it's been a, vacant for a period of two years beyond mm -hmm. its grace period it's been empty for a long time what the, the building itself is yes. vacant okay yes the whole 
I can't even remember the last person. So it must be a thing where they want to make sure that it's uh, not condemned or something like that? No, because it's like your grandfather. Right. And they weren't using it as that. So right. now they want to bring it back to being like a residential. Oh, because it was, it's a non-conforming lot. Right. Okay, got exactly. it. Got it. So it sounds fine if residential. Yeah, because we do it, yeah. Yeah, that Kyle's piece of property on. goes with the uh, Bourne's Market. Fair Street, Street Market, yeah. yeah. It used to. It used to. Well, I don't know if it was one lot or if it was two, two separate lots, but I think Hugh owns. Right. He bought it. Yeah. Yeah, it's separate. So I don't know if it's one lot or two lots. Well, it must have been two because they never came here for a subdivision. Right. right. So. Then we have another one, uh, another the Zoning Board of Appeals. We'll hear, have a public hearing April 5th again. On the application of a max antes of 67 Stillwater Road, South Deerfield. Who and Mr. Heck is that? Mr. Antes is seeking a special permit to pasture raise 10 pigs for farm sale each season at the same address. Oh. So that's a, um, that's a special permit. Yeah, hard to believe. Why, did, why is that a special permit? Because if it's not for personal consumption, I mean, they'll farm look the sale. other way if it's personal consumption. But if you want to sell it, then you got to be, have a special permit in Deerfield. Is it, it's just an overreaction to past events. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what I would, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, it's, and it leaves us with this. So you're going to be a neat farmer. I'm going to be. No, I'm going to be. I'm going to <laughs> so be. So let's say uh, that if he's a very neat yeah, and responsible neat farmer, responsible then, we'll, farmer. then we'll approve the. <laughs> yeah. So that would be for a yeah. special permit or for a var No, not a variant. Special, special, special permit. Special right? permit. And who who issues that? The, the, the ZBA. ZBA does. Yeah. Oh, ZBA does it. But it's a. Um, it's, it's not an exempt agricultural use? No. It they, should be. It oh, should, oh, no. It, actually, agricultural use is exempted, but fur farm, piggery, raising of animals on a parcel of land not exempt requires a special permit. So that's well, where I you think come under, because Hard to believe, huh? Because of history. Uh, well, yeah, but it was just one individual. I know. That's what I'm saying. 20 years ago, yeah. and we're still, right. well, it's we're still, still living that up. Still living living through that. Yeah, well, they we're put a we're, they we're put still living through it. It wasn't just 20 years ago. I was going to well, say, I remember. It's ongoing. They put yeah. It's ongoing, next but. Too long yeah. Kind of blew things out of the road. But, yeah, we, we wrote a bylaw for an individual. Yes. Well, if it's a special permit, I mean, special the applic applicant has to make sure he's going to do his diligence to. Well, he has to. You know. Live by the permit. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Everybody loves bacon. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can name one of the pigs bacon. Oh, I, I've already done that. What's, be what, right, <laughs> what's better good? than bacon? Something. Nothing. Yeah. More <laughs> bacon. More bacon. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, yeah. oh, oh, some oh. of you guys have to do finance campaign reports. Yes. Who? Uh, right. I asked him to. So I think that. you can just um, the, fill it out right I, I, here and pass I thought it I already did that because I said I said why did I have to do that once? Are there, is this? This is for this past. This is, is this for, one. This for this one current one. Yeah. You got to do it right before and then you got to do another one afterwards, right? So don't John, well, how you did you, if you reply to the spend any money? Yeah, you don't have to. It said sounds fine. fine. I think you have to file saying you didn't spend okay. any money. I checked with yeah, her. I mean, she said it was okay. Yeah, I mean, they're going to make well, sure that. sign it handy. You should just roll oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Sounds oink, fine. Oink. If we get, uh, <laughs> if we bacon. get bacon burgers at our next where, board. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Where, where is that paper? I'll sign it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, um, proposed changes in bylaws by our building inspector. Um, I thought we were going to have... Um, him here to kind yeah, of interview so on too. this because I I spoke to him today about it and he said that he was not aware that he was supposed to come here and that he had a prior commitment until 7:30 but he tried to be here after. Um, well, it doesn't not, look like it's going to happen. Doesn't so look like it's gonna I happen. think we should table that till we, we can. Well, wait. everybody get a copy of this and I think we should be we really prepared to talk about it over the next. Uh, sure. I already have one. I've yeah. been looking at it. Yeah, I I I'd, I'd really like to hear intent. Um, how we came Clarity. about this? I, I have I want I have some interview questions for him. Well, I would well, if you look at this, and then Pat also reminded us that we talked about this yeah. several meetings. So, and some of the recommendations are very similar to what we have too. I think there. he tried to get a little Is more that detail. The campaign? Oh yeah, do you need that? But I, I would like to have him in the room. Yeah, to do so it. that I had passed that out yeah. to you last time. It was a copy of some uh, zoning bylaw revisions that had been discussed by the board back in 2014. 
So when they were on the same subject of the mm -hmm. accessory bylaws, I haven't spent any time going into any detail. I have read the proposed changes, and, fact, I, and I think there's some great no ideas that change. Kyle and uh, Dick if have come up no with. If this is no different than what we've already got, then I don't See, need like to See, like some of this stuff, no, like no, these shipping containers, I've never heard anything about no, it that's, ever. that's new. And all of a sudden it pops up. Yeah, I think that's new. Um, yeah, and the town has umpty ump number of those. Are they going to do yeah, theirs? Yeah, so, I mean, I really want to... We should have a discussion. We need to talk to him about it. But I want to be very, uh, I'm very excited that he wrote these down and brought it to us. I think that's, oh, that's good great. and proactive, and it, I think we should move on it in the next in a month or two or something. Or not. Move, <laughs> move on it means, right. no, it. move on it means discuss it right. and make yeah, action. Right. Yeah. For, here. here, put that back wherever it needs to be. Oh, okay. All right, and now um, Pat would like to help us um, so, so we did motions and there's uh, proposed bylaw changes about the marijuana cultivation and we need to present at the town meeting. Um, right, so as we had discussed when you were doing those votes at last week's meeting, I typically help with providing you with draft reports for that presentation at town meeting. So I followed up and prepared draft reports. And you're supposed to both have the draft standing room and on the one. So I have one each for the prohibition of marijuana establishments and for the bylaw regulating marijuana establishments. I, I guess I'm... So this is just the report to the town meeting to give the information about the fact that the public hearing was held, what it was in regard to... There's not going to be any prohibition, though. It's I wouldn't call it the usual. It will be. Yes, so I. You would need to make your report as to your actions. Oh, it's going to be on there? Meeting. Is yeah. this considered old business right now, John? Yes, it's under old business. Yeah, because I've had a lot of, I, well, I've had some people come to me and they're very upset that they don't have the option to vote um, their conscience at a referendum ballot. Um, and sure. I've actually heard uh, the words recall election against two of the uh, select board members. All right, so what we can do here at this planning board is prepare for the our report at the uh, annual town meeting when this comes up on Sure, the but that's... We, have, we only have control of whatever right, we Right, I'm just saying that's information mm. people have come to me. Right. Right. Sir. Neutral is not a word I would choose. Bitterly okay. divided. How do you get to be bitterly divided? I know, let's okay. Bitterly so, divided. Well, I don't know. How about evenly divided? No, bitterly divided. No, it was three three zero. Not neutral. The, the board is divided. We no, just say? we're bitterly divided. Oh, there's no bitterness. So, yeah. it, I'm sorry. Let's make sure we're on the same. What, so he's neutral to the bylaw regulating marijuana establishments, where the vote was three in favor, three against. against. So there's no recommendation. That's, That's what right. that neutral means. But in, that, in, but, 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 but I. But there's I'm, a difference I'm, that's why, and I, next, I apologize, this should have a big draft The group on. agreed to submit both to the town meeting. It was 5 five uh, one and zero. And let the people choose. And exactly. let the people choose. That's, right. that's what that was about. So there was, there was, there was uniformity in the 5-1-0 vote. It was Correct. identical for Correct. both for both. But there was the differing selectment. votes in regard to the recommendation, recommendation. which was why yeah. council had advised to do the votes separately, mm -hmm. so as to yeah. make those distinctions clear. Yeah. So I'm happy to alter this language to whatever the board feel be better. Uh, okay, I, I just, I just want to. I'm confused. I'm confused. Paul, 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 excuse me. I want to play chair for a minute and just. Okay. I'm not sure what we're Don't talking. Don't play. About. Just oh. do it. Oh. Just, for <laughs> just, just give me a give me a second here. We are on the report um, for so the we bylaw regulating marijuana establishments, and we are looking at the final vote as to the recommendation. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, uh, they both look very similar to me. So at the top of it, it says report to annual town meeting on April 30th, 2018, bylaw regulating marijuana establishment. Correct. No, we're, not gonna, we're, we're so not gonna look at the other one. So we're not gonna look at the other one. We're not gonna look at the other one. Not right at this moment. Okay. So. Okay. Did you have another one for, for let's Roger? Let's, only, get let's one review one. this. You got the one with draft, but not the other one. Okay, yeah. Okay, John, you can go back to playing. All right, so let's just take a second and read through this because some people read it faster than others.
So we okay, so, so we're all in agreement on what it... Are we striking neutral? That's the question at hand, is oh, okay. whether that word so, neutral so, is an appropriate characterization of the So the first paragraph, the everybody's agree with is accurate. Second paragraph, everybody agrees with is accurate. Is yes. that true? Yes. So then the planning board is neutral on whether to recommend approval. I, it should be like we're a draw or something, so it doesn't look like we we're neutral care. because there's three against and three for. Somehow we got to get that across to the audience that some people were in favor and some were against. Neutral is like we didn't have any. We didn't have it. Right. Sorry. Any. So we could say the board is divided. Well, why do you need that first sentence at all? Don't you just say the board voted? I would three three zero on a I motion like that to recommend, divided. which did not provide the needed majority. Yeah, divided even. For approval because we were divided yeah mm -hmm. equally well they, they had, i yeah. think the town needs to know that the people need to know that there was a lot of heated debate about this it wasn't just okay let's vote and, you know well, there was a lot of discussion was, and all heated but there was, was a, a very, lot of yeah, I, I, it's heated lot of discussion. And bitter are two words that i would not use to characterize our discussion oh, i think absolutely. neutral divided divided alone divided. i think maybe is a better characterization yes, than neutral i think divided is okay word. so we will replace okay. the word neutral with the, the word divided Yep. I don't know why you need that sentence at all. But anyway. I'll just make it clear, John, I guess. And you well, no. The, the, I know the three, three should make it Because typically you're, exactly. you're saying one or the other. Yeah. Typically yes. you're in favor so or not. In favor. Like. But why can't you just say the board voted 3-3-0? Three, three, well, maybe some on a people motion. won't get it. The divide is very clear. Which did not provide the needed majority for approval. That's it. Mm -hmm. I, I, would, I would strike that whole first sentence. I, I, that's, that's kind of a... Uh, up to the board to, the to agree. I'll make a motion that we insert divided where neutral is. And I guess we're looking for a second. Well, let me just ask you this. Hypothetically, if I had been here and it was 4 3, would that be overwhelmingly approval? No, it'd be just. No, but it would have been, been a move to approve. It would have been, would been approved. approved. So I don't, the recommendation. You know, so I don't know why you, have, you need these so words so neutral, but, divided, anyway. It's just, I mean, I, I, I'd rather see it struck, struck than keep neutral. Either we go yeah, divided or strike. Okay. How about you so, just, what, what John's proposing is you just say the board, board votes like a science report. Right. Yeah. 330 on a motion to recommend, which did not provide the needed majority for approval. Right. I don't think we need to vote on it. Right, strike it because then it becomes a fact. I mean, right. this is the fact. This is yep. this is a report of yep. what happened. Just strike it. We'll just strike, strike that, that first. Would you point. like me to add the motion to recommend approval by town meeting of the proposed bylaw regulating mm -hmm. marijuana establishments, comma, which did not provide the needed majority, or just no, leave just, the I think just sentence. erase that and just put just the board vote. Just erase that first sentence. Yep. Okay. Because I think the more words that you get the involved in stuff like that. Board just, voted 330. Yep. That will say it. Three, four, three against. I think that's. Let me put three people, in favor. Would three people against. understand three, three, zero? Because we we do yeah, it every every month. But would people understand? I, I put it. I put it the other language up above. So I right. I, I think given that the short maybe it does make sense. Say three in favor, three against, zero yeah. abstaining in the same format as above. Yeah. yeah. I will make that you, change and return that to you. John, do you are is this something you're going to read at town meeting? I would normally, because the the moderator will read the motion, right? Or read the article, and one of us selectmen will read the motions and stuff like that. And uh, and, and then they would, we ask for comment, and that's when you'd get up and you'd read that. And I'd read that the board voted three three one on the motion to recommend, which did not provide the needed majority for approval. Typically, I, the other one, as you see, says respectfully submitted by the chair. So I would add that here. And typically, it is the chair or his or her designee who would make that report. Um, so now, what what happened with the prohibition? That, that is that. Are we to that point yet? No. So. Okay. All right. So that's so that's that one. And so you. Just. So there's just no recommendation. Right. There's, no there's no recommendation on that change in bylaw. Right. So. Oh. No. All right. Yep. I, what I I'd don't. like to address to this board is that at town meeting, when Article 27 comes to uh, to be mentioned, uh, it starts out with 20. Well, you don't have this. What I'm reading. I'm sorry. No. Uh, the first uh, chapter of. 121 is going to be 20, 121 1, the prohibition. 
and it speaks uh, about the prohibition throughout the town. And then the second chapter is 121-2, uh, which is, is the enforcement. And that's where it starts to go into all of the bylaws uh -huh. that we that agreed way. to. Mm -hmm. I feel that there's going to be a good number of people that are going to say, well, this one article talks about prohibition right. and the enforcement all together, which right. is going to be very confusing. And that's where um, I would get up and kind of speak to the same point what you're going to be reading, saying that, you know, the, the first motion that the uh, planning board decided was to move the bylaws to the floor of the town meeting for the people to vote on. Uh, the second motion that we voted was whether or not the planning board would recommend it, and we voted it not to. There wasn't a majority. The third motion was speaking to the prohibition and recommending to the select board that it be put on a warrant article. And the fourth motion was, you know, that the planning board recommended that. But because the select board chose not to put it on, um, the, um, the warrant. The warrant, no, not the, the warrant. Ballot. The ballot. The ballot. For the election. It's, it's kind of a moot point because th this is, if 27 will pass, but there's not going to be the um, town vote to subsidize it. And because Deerfield was a yes community, we need not only a warrant article to pass, but we need a, a ballot. I, I, I still think it's important to be voted so, on so we know well, it will be, how it's the people feel about it because at that point, since the select board chose not to put it on, not including yourself in that vote, um, th there is ways to do it with a referendum in a, in a special, special town meeting. Well, just, a just, special to, just to make it clear that because the prohibition is the first uh, number in 121, but they're both together. So right. if that article passes, you, you can't necessarily then say, well, the people voted for prohibition because they were voting for all the bylaws. Right. So it, that's, well, it I, was, I think that it should have been in two different articles, right. to be honest with you. Uh, but for whatever reason, it came I would back concur that that's going to cause confusion. Yeah. I don't know if anyone has oh, uh, yeah. discussed it with town council and the moderator. Yeah. So see it, well, it's, it's being discussed right now. Okay. But. Okay. Because that is, you, you saw the confusion that we had amongst ourselves oh, yes, here, yes. visiting it every right. yeah, yeah, yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But seeing that language is in that uh, article or whatever at the town meeting, could somebody get up off from the floor and amend it to have prohibition voted on that night? No. Okay. They Be can't? No. Because Deerfield was a yes community. Right. Uh, it it has to be. The state law says that it has to be... Uh, revoked or the prohibition has to have two means of a vote. Right. One is an article on the town meeting and the second is a ballot vote. Right, but I'm just saying could we, that's what I'm saying yeah. that we could get it, we could say we want it as a ballot. Right. Well you can't there's not enough time. First of all there's posting rules that it has to be posted. Okay. Okay. And, and not only that. A special but, town election, but, Roger, yeah. after but do they have to yeah. be simultaneously the speaker? They can no. be they do not have to Why can't it just be a special election? Because the, if they force it to be well, the thing afterwards uh, with signatures, yeah. you go with a special election. It can be done. Yeah, that is with correct. a special election. But I don't know if the timing requirements would be no. met that way. Well, you just have to move the election off the distance to make it, don't you? Uh, no, that wouldn't happen. You you still have the elections. It would have to be another, another special, special town. Special That's what election. I mean. You'd, you'd move the. We'd have to double check on that time yeah. frames. I, I yeah. don't have a recollection that there's a specified time frame within which the two things have to happen, um, but that would certainly be something that would need to be reviewed to see if a later special right. ballot election or some other ballot election would right. suffice. That discussion could be a moot point if the warrant can still be left open and that could be added. I believe that warrant is closed. The warrant is closed. closed. Um, yeah. Friday. But uh, they had a big crowd here to close it. I heard no in the paper. Yeah. <laughs> so say again that this you have the two is one article. Yeah, one article twenty seven that and, prohibits and, and, and it's, creates it's zoning. It's now called Chapter one twenty one, and the first part about it is prohibition one twenty one one, and then the second one one twenty one two is the enforcement. And it starts going through all enforcement of the enforcement on the prohibition. No, no, no. No, the it says, says enforcement of the prohibition. prohibition. But it, it, they just keep going. See, you now this is, this is 123. It talks about medical marijuana and the effective dates and stuff like that. Well, the so prohibition accept, accepted medical marijuana, so that 
may still be yeah. related so, to that. So then Article 27 is about the zoning, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So well, was, did the newspaper oh, well, article represent That's what I'm saying. It's all rolled together. Did you see the Greenfield In this way, it doesn't seem to make sense. I, I was in at the meeting, so I can't comment as to whether it was appropriately well, represented. this is not the final. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, did, you, did you read the article in the paper on Saturday? Did that accurately represent what happened at that meeting? I did not read it, but I believe Saturday it was. Was it accurate? I believe it was. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> of course. He might have a slanted look on it. <laughs> Do you remember what you wrote? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. So this, uh, this I, other uh, report to the annual town meeting on April 30th, 2000, prohibition of marijuana establishments. So paragraph one is fine with everybody? I, I do have a question about this because at the open meeting, it sounded like the people thought that marijuana was going to be banned in Deerfield. In other words, you couldn't smoke it, you couldn't buy it, you couldn't do anything in the town of Deerfield. And I don't believe that's correct. I believe it just means that no, you it's not correct. Retail I mean, it's not correct. No matter what, it's still state I don't law. Believe well, they it's can prohibition ban of it. marijuana establishments. Right. Well, that's what I'm. I'm but there I understand what it's. Oh, yeah. I understand what it's saying. But when Carol Crafts got up here, for instance, no. she wanted to just ban it outright. She didn't want to see it. The other no. one, no. you know, so you, you yeah. can't. You, she you can't can do that. that. No, I know, but okay. Just all right. So paragraph one is fine. Paragraph two, and that's what we agreed to earlier in the minutes, is that it was yeah. uh, the first thing was to recommend it to the select board. That was five to one and zero. Then the third paragraph, can we do the same thing as we did on the other one and just say what the vote was? Well, the board voted. In this case, the the other one we did that because it was a a neutral. It was a, a non-recommendation. Non in this case, there was no, actually a but recommendation I, what I would, that was voted. What I would recommend is you start it out by the facts. The board voted. Four in favor, two against, zero abstaining on the motion to recommend approval. Therefore, the board recommends approval or something. But I just, I just don't, I think that word recommends is too strong, just like you thought neutral was too strong, I guess. That it's well, a four to two vote. It's, it's, let the, let the vote stand for themselves. That, well, uh, yeah, but in this case, the vote was to recommend. That's what I'm saying. So you well, put that right afterwards. It says so on a motion right to recommend there, the board approval. votes four to two on the motion to recommend. Right. right. Oh yeah. So the, we can the, just yeah, do, do like we did on right. the other one just for okay. yeah. Because otherwise it's it's kind of subject. It's well, it's, and it's, it's also let's stick to the facts. Yeah. 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 It's all perspective. Depends how you look at the issues. I know, but well, it's why you want to stick to the. I think try to get to the facts if you're talking to the if we're the planning board. And, well, it's my opinion that to be credible, you have to be fair. And when there's Correct. things that you don't like, you need to be fair. Right. If we right. did that exactly. with the neutral, we'd we do it, do it with, with the this. same. Yeah, yes. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's you have to be fair. And I'll write out the vote using that same format. Using fa well. in favor. Yeah. So, this, so I would just say that it, I'm I'm happy as the chair to present these. If there is discussion, I might speak. We can all speak our own opinions. Then everyone too. has the right to speak their own personal opinion, mm -hmm. regardless no, of what the planning board vote but was. That's why if it's, you so identify it. it's important that people see the numbers right. for the votes, mm -hmm. but then if we want to say our own thing. Um, and I respectfully request that we don't argue too much with each other at the, <laughs> at the town meeting. I have never seen us argue as a board, ever. No. 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 Well, I, there's two things that I'd like to make the board of aware of. Is one, um, the issue about the prohibition. Um, I know that the, the select board is going to try to get uh, the moderator uh, to declare a moot point and not have discussion on that. I also know that the select board is going to challenge the planning board's authority to be the licensing approval on town floor. So, how is that? Case. How is that going to proceed? I am. It's that's up to the moderator to determine yeah. if that's within the scope of what is included on the warrant, whether he would allow it or not. Yeah, but I guess if. And that's, that comes under this one, the one that we voted three to three on. So we're Correct. not. Well, that's the prohibition, but that's. No, no, no. no that's the regulator. That's the, that's oh, right. the bylaw right. regulating it. So we're right. not even recommending that. Right. So how can we defend that we should be the regulator? Well, well I think that was the reason permit. we are the regulator. Right. It's because a the, and balance. it came from right. public right. hearing that said, said we, want, we want the planning board to do it because we feel you have a better yeah. grasp on the community and being people. mixed. Well, I think I think we agreed that we site had a plan. Partial view on that's right. Well, also that it, no, but we 
we look at site plan reviews, and that's what this would require, basically. Right. It's and more than two people. And we've well, done it. Exactly. It's yeah. an elected right, board, seven people. Right. Yeah. Select yeah. board is three people. All it well, takes is two. Two, yeah. yeah. To, you know, so having that third person on a select board is pretty much it's a moot point feet. these days. So mm -hmm. this way it gets a better collective of the townspeople. I think we have a very diverse board with their thought processes and um, mm -hmm. the way they feel about things. And I, I think uh, the wisdom of the crowd prevails with this board versus the select board. And that was, that was the comment that was made by a, a town's person at one of our meetings when we decided to, to do it. Well, I just wanted you all to be aware of that, so. Excellent. All right, so we're ready for that. So these, I can, I'll do these so we'll right forward these to the, get them uh, back to you. Yeah. And I also have the uh, sign-in sheet from that public hearing, and I'll transmit that back at the same time, and I'll, I'll copy Barbara on it just so she has that already in her yeah, file for when she has to submit to the AG's office. Excellent. I, get a, I have something else here. Um, Go all right, thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Have a safe ride. I got a, um, something was left in our box that said, someone managed to lose the original signatures on a site plan review decision that we made um, back in August. So we need to re-sign this. And I guess it's just the originals. There's a copy of it here. So I'm happy to. What was the site plan? I, this was uh, RV feathers, repair, two. restoration, and sales. Yep. Two feathers. Two feathers. Check so there was uh, me, whose signature is that? It's mine. Vice Chair, that's you? Is that Max? Max. And Roger. Yeah. I'll sign so this. the four of us signed it again. Because even though they had a copy, they needed one. With they would need another original. Version. So you yeah. can show that to Yep. Yeah. Anything else? Um... Oh, mail. Sorry. Oh, John. I should have looking at the mail. Yeah, I'm to do that. Uh, I it in the same location, guys. I mean, we did um, the important uh, things that won in our opinion. But thank you. We have a, a, a what do you call it? Quorum. A full board tonight. Thank you, for everybody, for coming. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll miss the next one. I haven't missed many, but the next one being two out of three. The one in May 8th. I'm going to be out of. Oh, okay. going to Uganda. Yeah. Uh, going, to, going back home. Going back. Going yes. back home. Yes. Bring the blanket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John, here you go. Here's the. There's everything. <laughs> so you can tell who read the book. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. <laughs> Never mind. John, anything? Uh, uh, yeah, oh. that, that you may want to read aloud. That's, oh, that, that pertains to us. You can read it aloud. It says, okay. uh, you may be aware Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection, MassDEP, Ministers, Massachusetts Public Waterfront Act, commonly referred to as Chapter 91. Uh, what, am I, what am I reading? Protects and promotes. It's just licensing review, no? General licensing review protects, promotes public interest in waterways, protects public health, safety, and general welfare as it may be affected by projects in tight lands, great ponds, non tidal rivers, and streams, ensures that the public has the right to fish, fowl, navigate, legal rights of adjacent waterfront property owners. Do I keep reading? I, I, I've had what, enough. What is it? I don't Thank know. you. There's I'm no way you want me to. No, it was no just point of information, I think. About no, it, it, it's just telling the, the responsibilities of the planning board um, regarding yes. when it. When regarding it uh, GLC, which is a general licensing certificate. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so here's um, Waitley, town of uh, a public hearing on a. 133 kW ground mounted solar array. So, I mean, just there's, you know, solar is a um, a thing, and not a hot topic, but a thing. Um, on the Mannheim farm. Well, 
So we had uh, that name come in here. So he's moving. He's got a whole thing going. <laughs> and that's in Waitley, John. Yes. This is town of Waitley. Yeah. But well, where whereabouts in Waitley? Uh, where in Waitley? It I is River located. Three Eleven River Road. Three Eleven okay. River Road. I know he owns land there, but he might own yeah. land someplace else also. Uh, this actually, this was a letter sent to us, uh, so I'll read it aloud. Deerfield Select Board, Planning Board, Zoning Board, Deerfield Inspections Board. Ladies and gentlemen, in close you will find a letter that we have sent to Chief of Police here in Deerfield regarding our declining situation at 711-707 Greenfield Road, Route 5 and 10. We wanted you to be aware of what is happening at our location as we've stated to the chief that we believe our situation has escalated beyond a simple border altercation. We, pursue le we have pursued legal counsel by our lawyer, the Honorable Jack Curtis from Greenfield. He has explained that these types of situation could linger for years. We have reached out to chief of police. We are now reaching out to all of you for help to resolve our situation. It is dangerous from a traffic safety standpoint and our clientele are now being verbally confronted by an angry, aggressive Mr. Atherton. Help, please. Mr. Atherton submitted blueprints on the site plans at Town of Deerfield for their approval today. His site does not look anything like his approved blueprints and site plans. Is there a forum, a meeting, a council board that we can appeal to to have Mr. Atherton's permits reviewed um, or at least have his site resemble his initial designs? In all seriousness, all we want in the long run is a safe access and egress from our business for us, our clients, and, and Mr. Atherton's clients. Um, if I can, I'm not going to read the that. No. That was the the prelude to the letter. I I, I don't think just, that we need to read the letter. I don't know no. who Mr. Atherton. Well, is. just in, in the feathers. famous words that you uh, two feathers. Oh. The famous words you once uttered. It's so yesterday. Um, it's been it's been dealt with last week okay. a week ago. Well, the, the I felt it prudent if somebody sends a letter that the building no, inspector good. went up and right. they dealt with that. So okay. that's what I we got. I mean, that's well, who does the does the building inspector have anything to say? In other words, I I, I yeah. thought there was supposed to be a fence put up on the front to demarcate the building. There was there was an issue about fence and locations and well, that's on the, on the it, north side of his property that the fence was a problem. But wasn't there supposed to be one in front as well? No. Well, I, I think. The building inspector is the enforcement agent for our yes. site plans and things. If he finds that something needs to come back to us, I trust he'll bring it back to us. Okay. So that should be, yeah, our, that that should be our reaction. Christopher right. Garland and Arthur Brewer's um, issue has been resolved by the sounds of it. Well, that's a good thing. All right. Okay, good. Nice. Town of Whaley, nothing. Uh, Conway's voting to do a temporary moratorium. <laughs> well, I, 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 we already got, got that. Just in the so that may be an old one, John. We got that a couple of months ago. Yeah, February 23rd. I don't think we need to go any no. further. No, it's done. That. All right. Anything else? A motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. 8:50. Oh, John, All those in favor? In there. I'm going to take that with me if you don't mind. Big ways this and go for it. Yeah. Make bike lanes. Um, 850. Oh, 850 adjourned. Aye. Excellent. Aye. Aye. Those in favor. <laughs> Thank you. 700.